Mr. Steenbergen, grew 4.6% on emerging markets. Where do you see the biggest potential for further growth? In all the markets, there are great opportunities, but particularly China and India are great markets for further chocolate growth. One year ago, you launched your product Ruby. Does this product fulfill your expectations so far? It actually it really outperformed our expectations. We see Ruby products everywhere. The big show in Köln earlier this year, many of our customers had their booth full of the Ruby products. There's a lot of possibilities with the Ruby product. We're extremely happy how it came into the market. It's Easter soon. How is your business for this holiday running so far? Do you see the smile on my face? Uh, we don't give any forward outlook. Um, we got this question also today during our announcement. We look very, very positively forward to the rest of the year. The cocoa bean price has increased recently. Does this bother you? The cocoa bean price has moved within a range of between 1500 and 800 pounds. And that's a range we feel fully comfortable with. Economic growth is expected to slow down, but your goals are still very optimistic. Is chocolate always in demand, also when times get tougher? Yeah, if people are happy or people have more difficult times, people always see chocolate. And then the special thing comes with Barry Callabout. We were always growing in the circumstances. Many people still make their own chocolate, but they figure out it's actually much, much better if we do that for them. So even when the market is against, we have plenty of opportunities to keep growing. You've been talking about smart growth today. What do you mean by that? It means growing our business, and that is number one, two, three, but do it in a profitable way, a continuously increasing our profit so that we can do the right thing for our shareholders and we can keep on a culture of entrepreneurship and growth in which we all can flourish.